In today's machine learning class, we will see the base optimal classifier from third unit Bayesian concept level. The base optimal classifier is used to calculate the most probable classification of the new instance. Right? On the basis of how it is going to classify the new instance on the basis of combined prediction of all alternative hypotheses weighted by the posterior probabilities. Okay, for doing all those things, the classifier will use this map hypothesis, that is maximum a posteriori hypothesis, that is the most probable classification of new instance given the training data. Right, so this is base optimal classifier. What's the purpose of base optimal classifier? Is It is used to classify the most probable classification of new instance. Let us give an example for this uh, base optimal classifier. There are three hypotheses H1, H2 and H3 in the hypothesis space. So H determinant of H equal to 3. That is total number of H is 3. That is H1, H2 and H3. And the posterior probability of the hypothesis H1 is 0 0.4, H2 is 0 0.3 and H3 is also 0 0.3. Right now, the new instance X is coming for classification, and now H1 classified as true, and both H2 and H3 classified as false. Okay, H1 is true, but the other uh, two hypotheses classified X as false. Now the most probable classification of new instance X is obtained by combining the prediction of all hypotheses weighted by the corresponding posterior probability. That is, the new instance X is coming for classification. So, we are having, for example, n number of classifications, C1, C2, etc. up to Cn, the collection of all the classes combinedly called as capital C. Okay, so the X should be classified with respect to the hypothesis value. As per our example, we are having three hypotheses, H1, H2 and H3. How the X will be classified with respect to H1? It belongs to which particular classes? With respect to H2, it belongs to which particular class? Right? So, the probability P of CI gives T, T is nothing but training data. training data that the correct classification of the new instance <clears throat> the correct classification of new instance c is so this is the classification of new instance based on the training data based on the class okay p of c i gives t which is equal to summation of all hypotheses belongs to capital h okay h1 h2 h3 everything the summation of all the hypothesis value P of CI gives HI multiplied by P of HI gives T. P of HI gives T. Now, we need to identify the optimal classification. The optimal classification means the X should be classified to the classes which hypothesis will give maximum maximum value okay so this is called as optimal classification so the optimal classifier is ci belongs to c here we need to consider all the classes and hi belongs to h so with respect to all the hypotheses we need to find this uh, posterior probability value now the new instance should be classified based on the given hypothesis. So the classes, we are having two classes. C1 is true and C2 is false. True and false. And the values are, corresponding values are given here. H1 uh, with respect to the training data is 0 0.4. And false with respect to H1 is 0. And true with respect to H1 is 1. Likewise, H2 value with respect to 
training data is 0 0.3, false with respect to H2 is 1, true with respect to H2 is 0. Likewise, H3 uh, with respect to T is 0 0.3, false with respect to H3 is 1, true with respect to H3 is 0. Now, we try to substitute these values into our given formula to find the posterior probability. Okay. So, the probability of true with respect to Hi. First, let us take H1. Okay. True with respect to H1 is 1 into probability Hi with respect to T, this value. That is 0 0.4 plus next H2. Okay. True with respect to H2 is 0 into 0 0.3 plus here H3 with respect to true is 0. 0 into 0 0.3 this value. Okay. Which is equal to 0 0.4. So, these are 0. 1 into 0 0.4 is 0 0.4. This value. Okay. Now, the same value will be calculated for false, false value with respect to the hypothesis. Okay. So, here False with respect to hypothesis value is 0 into 0 0.4 plus H2. Okay. H2 is false is 1 into 0 0.3 plus 1 into 0 0.3 for H3. So, this value false is 1 and true is 0. Okay. What is the value? This is 0. This is 0 0.3 and this is 0 0.3. So, 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 is 0 0.6. So, this value. Okay. Now, we need to find the maximum with respect to true and false. Which is the maximum? False value is maximum. Okay. True value is 0 0.4 and false value is 0 0.6. Okay. Two classes. Isn't it? So, the new instance is classified to false. This method maximizes the probability that new instance is classified correctly. That is, the new X is classified correctly when the available training data, hypothesis space and prior probability of hypothesis are already known. If all these data are given already, then the new instance will be classified correctly. Okay. This is called as base optimal classifier. So far we have seen the base optimal classifier with example from third unit Bayesian concept learning. And in the next class I will explain the naive base classifier. And this is the most important classifier from Bayesian concept learning. Thank you.